Hey everyone, how's it going? So, today I'm going to show you guys how to create your own private Minecraft server. Uh, this works with the free version of, of what I'm going to be using anyway. Uh, up to five players, including yourself. Uh, one of the players will have to be the host. This means that that host computer will have to be on, have their computer on and the programs open in order for this to work. So, we'll get started here. And the first thing you're going to need to do is to get program called Log Me and Hamachi. I'll put a link in the description for this too. Uh, but you're going to need the unmanaged version. So make sure you check off the conditions of use and then go ahead and download it. Download will start. It's a little over 4 megs so that shouldn't take too long. Uh, and Just go ahead and install it. Sure, I'll create a, an icon on the desktop. And it shouldn't take too long here. Now I haven't tried this in any very big PvP situations. I've uh, blown up a crap load of TNT and that doesn't seem to affect it too much. Uh, as far as lag goes, it seems to be pretty minimal. So once again, I don't know how it would do in a PvP situation. I've done just a punch each other to death kind of thing. But uh, and that works fine, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So once you've got this here, just hit the power button and choose the name of your computer or whatever you want your Hamachi client to see you as. Uh, what it puts in there by default is probably fine. It'll say resolving here and it'll take just a moment and then it'll come up with an IP address which you'll need later. But now if you're the host, if you're going to be the host computer, the one that hosts all the, the server files and whatnot, and you're the one that's going to have to have your computer on all the time to run these programs, then you're going to want to create a new network. If you know a friend who has one and you want to join, you're going to need to join the network. And everybody that connects to your server will have to have LogMe and Hamachi as well. Just the same unmanaged version. Uh, so join if they want to join you. Create new if you want to create your own. You can also do that under network. Create a new or join an existing. So we want to create a new one since we're going to be the host. And network ID will just make something like um, my server password just pass one whatever and right oh. and that network's been taken so let's try underscore in there okay we'll try. 275. You may need to remember those for later uh, to log in other guests into your server. But now you'll have uh, the My Server connection. Anyone else who is connected to yours that has LogMe and Hamachi installed, their name will show up here. Um, so, before we can go any farther with that though, we'll just minimize that. It'll start with your computer every time and it'll also make network connections show up here somewhere. Sometimes it will. It'll show a different network adapter. You can just ignore that. It shouldn't affect what you're doing. Um, notification. Go away. <laughs> so the next thing you need to do is go on the Minecraft website. And you're going to want to download the game. Or not the game itself, but you'll see here for a multiplayer server, there's a file you can download. You can go ahead and get that. It's just over 2 megabytes. Uh, so you want to find where you have it saved, which is probably in your desktop or in your downloads folder. Uh, and then you can take that, I'll just cut and paste, and you can put it in a folder wherever you want. Uh, I'll just put it on my desktop in a folder there. And once it's in that folder, you can just go ahead and run it. And it'll take a second here. And it'll open this thing up. Uh, it'll prepare a world called world as you can see here Whoop. by default uh, we will show you how to or I'll show you how to change that to your own world later if you want but it'll come up saying done and once that's done you can just close that up for now and you'll see that it's created a bunch of other files whoops <laughs> and world that's the world that is created just 
So if you load in your server now, you'll get a randomly generated world. Uh, so now, under your server properties, you've got all your different options. And one of the things you're going to have to do right away is uh, get Logmi and Hamachi back up. And the IP address it gave you here, it needs to go into the server IP section. So it would be 25.204.158.252. And level seed, that's all optional. Uh, you got your options such as allowing the nether, your world name, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, you can allow NPCs, uh, which is basically test certificates or villagers as you may know them. Whitelist if you want to only allow certain people onto your server. Spawn animals, well, that's self explanatory. Uh, let's see. Online mode, if you set that to false, I believe it allows crat clients onto your server. PvP, if players can hurt each other. Difficulty, peaceful, hard, whichever. Each one has a number that uh, represents them. I think hard is two, but I'm not completely sure. Game mode, so zero would be survival mode, one would be creative, which will set it at creative right now, and two would be adventure mode, which I've never really used. Uh, max amount of players doesn't matter. You only had build have five on here anyway, as you can see over in Logmi and Hamachi. It says one out of five. Uh, spawn monsters, self-explanatory as well. Generate structures, so villages. Uh, I think that includes strongholds, stuff like that. View distance, just leave it at ten. You won't notice anything really, really there. And um, and uh, mod 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 D. I don't even know if it's pronounced or if it's spelt out. This thingy right here. Uh, you can leave that, whatever, you can put uh, welcome to my server or something. And once you've got all these done, it's kind of like a welcome message. But once you've got all these filled out, just say go ahead and save. And you can close that up. And now go back to wherever we have this saved. And if you want to allow certain players, allow check the option off in the server properties and you can put that in the whitelist. OPs we're going to want to put ourselves in there so just put your Minecraft name and save that and close it. Uh, banned players and banned IPs. Self-explanatory. Now if we open up Minecraft which first off we need to uh, open up our Minecraft world. Get it going here. So when we launch this, that'll turn the server on. We also have to log, have to have Logmi and Hamachi going. Uh, people connect to your server just by a network and join an existing network. Then the password and username you use, they type it in there, and and that's it. Okay, so now we'll we have Minecraft open here, so we will just log ourselves in. I'm not going to update. You can. Uh, I'm not sure if 1.4.6 clients are compatible with 1. 4.7 servers or not. I guess we're about to find out. And we'll just do a direct connect. So we put in our IP address, which was listed in Logmi and Hamachi, and join the server. Oh, and there we go. 1.4.6 is compatible with 1.4.7. So this is just a random world generated right now. So we're out in the middle of nowhere, basically. And now, if you want to add your own world, what we can do is, first off, turn the server off by just closing this Minecraft server window. And then we can go into our Minecraft folder, which I'll show you how to get there. Uh, there's The easiest way is to just open up the run window, which you can do by typing in run in your search bar there. Uh, or by holding down the Windows key and clicking R. Either one will bring up this run window. And then you want to type in percent app data and then another percent sign and click enter and it'll open up this folder and minecraft and you want to go into saves and then the world you want you can just copy that and go back to where you saved your minecraft server file oops that's not it before and paste that into the same folder depending how world your how big your world is this will take a moment And once that's done, we can open up the server properties. And we can see the name of our world is, for this one, a second try. Uh, 
so where it says level name, we need to make sure that equals second try. I don't believe you need to worry about quotations or anything. So we've got that, so let's start our server back up. And done. So now we will lock back in. Multiplayer, our IP address is still there. And there's our world. And since and since we made our server game mode one, we can use the the game mode command. If you don't know that, uh, forward slash game mode one is creative, zero is survival, and two is adventure. And there is our world we're all logged into, and it'll load up around us. Everybody else is uh, should be able to connect at this point as long as you have the proper files open. Uh, you shouldn't have to adjust your firewall settings. That should be fine. And it gives you a, a VPN, log me in Hamachi, so that's not your real IP address. Just so you know, people, don't try to hack me. This isn't gonna be the server I use anyway. But uh, this should be a nice little server for you and a few of your friends to use. I'd only let people you trust onto it. Uh, just in case but that's that and also one last thing uh, a couple last things actually let me just I'll put this this run .vat file that I have here and uh, link to download it in the description as well Actually, I'll just put the text that it's contained in. Hmm. I'll try to post a link to it. If I can't do that, then I'll just put the text that's in it in the description. And what this will do is allow you to start your your Minecraft world with more RAM, so it'll perform better. And if we open it up, you'll see it's got some text in here, and Basically what this does is it says the, the directory of your Java file. Uh, it's got some stuff in there, but basically it's it's saying two gigabytes of RAM is how much your server is getting. I think by default it gets 256 megs, which isn't that much. Uh, so you might want more. One or two gigs is probably fine. And you should be able to just copy it just like this. Um, although this name isn't right but uh, I don't think it'll work then no so I'll just change the name of the Minecraft server get rid of that one because it's the second copy I have on on here so now it should work yes it will and once you open up Minecraft we connect back to the server with more RAM and that's that. And just the last thing is, uh, when a new version of Minecraft comes out and you update your client, you might not be able to connect to the server anymore. Uh, you'll get an error saying the server is the wrong, the server is a newer version, or the server is an older version than your client is, so therefore you can't connect to it. Uh, if you have mods such as Bucket, this could be a bit of a problem. You might have to wait for the Bucket mods to the bucket update to be released before you can really make your server updated. Uh, but otherwise, if you get that error, the only thing, the best thing to do is just go back onto the Minecraft website, get that same server file. They'll have it updated, and you can download that again. And then once you come over into this file, you can just delete that Minecraft server file, copy in the new one right into that same location and boom done it'll work then and if you have any questions with this any errors any whatever <laughs> feel free to let me know I'll answer your questions and that's it okay guys see you next time have a good one